Hey everyone, welcome back to Fatal Frame. We have a visitor! Kay is in our house. He came at the end of the last episode. He's waiting downstairs and asked us to look at if we can find a tape in Yu's room that might have some more info or something. So we're gonna swing by uh, Yu's room, see what we find, and I think then it's pajama time. So let's go. Do -do 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 -do. I just realized we found that spirit radio, but then never really did anything with it. I was wondering if we would find, like, stones to use it on, but we haven't really found anything. Okay, so there might be a tape around here. Arranged on the bookcase are the books. That's the same. Typed and handwritten letters and several books left out on the desk. There's a notebook that says the manor of sleep in the drawer. Perhaps it could be useful. The manor of sleep, urban legend. The ma manor of sleep is an urban legend that was whispered among those in psychiatry about hospitalized patients suddenly disappearing. There are several stages to it and it progresses like a sickness, having the same dream. The patients who later go missing first see the same dream every day, usually about dead lovers or family. Next, the patients dream about wandering into a large manor. It is a huge, snowy, Japanese-style house. It is laid out haphazardly, as though many extensions were added. Then, deep in the manor, one discovers their dearly departed. Patients follow the dead deeper into the manor. Most patients find the same scenes and phenomena along the way. For example, hearing a lullaby, seeing a masked funeral march, or being pursued by a tattooed woman. At this stage, the patient complains of abnormalities of the body while awake. The symptoms are common to all patients, and when they wake, they feel a sharp pain and see a growing blue bruise or a snake-like tattoo. At this stage, the patient's response to external stimulation grows weaker. The time spent in sleep also slowly increases. From a medical viewpoint, there, this is a defensive reaction to pain. So if the patients are actually in pain, it is a normal response. Then, one to two months after the first stage, the patient goes missing. Missing is the official term. It is said the patient actually vanishes, leaving a, only a black soot-like mark. The above mentioned is the original manner of sleep urban legend, but the popular legend is more story-like and includes the following elements. Strong feelings for the dead summon the first nightmare. Once you follow the deceased in the dream, you can no longer return. If the sleeping person dreams of a lover or friend, it will beckon that person into sleep. The manner of sleep disease spreads thusly. Deep in the manner of sleep is the world of the dead, and, it, and if you make it, you can meet the deceased there. There we go. If you pursue the dead, you will not be able to return. Even if I knew that, I should still go. There's an unaddressed envelope in the desk. There seems as, It seems as though there's a cassette tape inside. Perhaps it was to be sent to Kay. Ooh, very damaged. There's a notebook with it. This song is thought to be the original northeastern Japan lullaby, The Sleeping Priestess. It was found in a gramophone at a local university and I had it sent to me. I listened to it, but the first and second verses are slightly different from today's Sleeping Priestess. This is thought to be due to differences in the period and area where the song was transmitted. Further, a major difference is that there is also a third verse. I have to look into it more, but it seems that the mood changes from the first two verses to the third. I wrote the lyrics as I heard them. Go to the other side, cast the boat, take a ride, cross the rift to the other side, further and further to the other side. It must sail bearing your tattoos and our offering of tears. The first and second verses are littered with frightening words, but the third verse is more mel melancholy. In particular, the ending of the song seems less like a lullaby than something sung at a funeral. Hmm. Okay. Maybe that's what Kay needs to hear. We also can listen to the tape. Let's do that first. That's more exciting. Let's see. Old tape. I was right. <laughs>
That's it. So it's the same. Okay, so we got the song. Hello, Kason. I have something to tell you. Yeah, I'm sorry. It could be a clue. I'll examine it tonight. Hmm. And PJ time. Hey, <laughs> we did it. Okay, let's save that. And we've come full circle. First slot. <laughs> Episode 6. Hour 11. <gasps> We're so far. Oh, I'm not... As soon as that candle comes into play, I'm always like, I don't want to dream anymore. <laughs> That's the point where I'm like, I don't want to go to this house. Tattoo lady. Lady with the hands. Ooh. Looked like a bunker. I can't hear what he's saying. Impale the priestess to subdue the tattoo stakes. Must be somewhere within the mansion. Okay. Um. So what are we gonna do? Where are we gonna find them? The fact that the game put me facing this way um, makes me think I should maybe look on the other side of this door. We might see something. Hello? Anyone here? Anyone wanna- yep. Oh, it's her though. Where is she going? She's going in there. Don't want to get too close. Is she gonna go through there or turn around and uh, then I'm fucked? Should I follow her? I might really fuck myself over if I go in here and she's in here. Someone's here. Okay. Maybe this doesn't even lead to anything. Nice, but no candle. Does this even lead to anything? Is this where the game wants me to go, or...? It could just mean that she's close by, or something. Like, she's just a game reminding me that she's always around. I could go have a look at this girl's room. See if there's anything with the... Oh yeah, it must be the impalement girls, because they were the ones responsible for impaling. Is there another candle there? Yeah, okay, so let's remember that candle for later. Let's go say hi to one of the girls. See if they have a steak for me. Hello? Got a steak? 
Oh! Shit! It didn't... Oh god. The timing was... Yeah, this is the light. We need to balance out the shadow. By the balance of light, purify the shadow of the tattoo stake. Yeah. So we need to... Make sure the light is like evenly... That's too much. Um... Ooh. There. So if there's no shadow, then the stake comes off. That's cool. Okay, that's one. I'm surprised you don't have to fight the girl. Well, let's check out girl number two's place. Save as well. I'm so worried about my candle. Hopefully the time doesn't count in the puzzles. Because some of these uh, light puzzles are pretty tricky. Okay. Here we go again. Yep. Hmm. I need extra light and I need to balance it out. That's too much to that side. Too much. Too little. Hmm. Ah. Okay, how about this? Too far, huh? Oh, so close. Huh. My God, that's so close. Yes! Suddenly the logic like came to me and I was like, oh, if I do that, then I got it. Oh. Holy shit! It's like, everyone will die. Oh god, here we go. I can hear her. Where'd she go? There she is. Oh my god, you're you're flying one. Okay. She's not child height. There she is. <laughs> oh god. Okay, I hit her good. Okay. Oh, Jesus. My God. She got me! Ah, oh, too late. Oh, and I still got a point out of her. Am 
Where's she at? Oh, there. How strong are you? Oh god, the candle. Oh shit. Fuck. Oh. I don't have type 36. Ah! Oh my god. Let go! Got her. Oh shit, there she comes. Oh no, the candle! Oh god. My candle ran out. I'm so fucked. Fucking die already! You're too strong! No, 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 no. I wonder if she's now stronger because the candle is out. That would suck. Well, I have some zero film, but it doesn't seem worth it. Oh, fuck yeah. Let me go. I need to get a candle. ASAP. Bye. Oh, I got a lens thing. Blow. More damage than a normal shot. Because it consumes so many spirit points, it inflicts greater damage. The higher your level, the more damage you inflict on the ghost. Huh. Um, yeah, I think I need to... Upgrade some of his stuff, you know. Let's do a max value. Oh, so many points! Let's do this. Okay. That should help. Now let's fucking run to that candle. Oh god. We're so fucked. Ugh, oh, dude. If she shows up here. Oh my god. Candle, 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 candle. Don't show up, don't show up, don't show up. Definitely don't show up in the corridor that I need to get to. Please. It's here, it's here, it's here, it's in this room. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. You can even you can't even see that it's there. Like the item is so hard to see. Oh, thank god. Okay, I was ready to hide as well. Okay, now I need to find a way to those other two girls. I know one I can um I can go here. Oh, that was so stressful. I'm so glad we have a candle again. The candle runs out so quickly. It fucking sucks. I hate it. It makes me so nervous and it makes me feel really rushed as well. Which, I mean, of course, it's probably what the game was going for, but... I think there's film here. Yes, thank you. I need that. Uh, oh, fuck. No, dude. He's gonna come through the wall. Go, go, go. Oh my god, yes. I'm allowed to leave. Thank you. Bye. Oh, you can hear him still in the background. That's scary. Please don't show up, please don't show up, please don't show up. <laughs> Just let me do my thing! Okay, so this room... I can move this piece of furniture. I can move the chest and I can get inside. There you go. Big strong boy. Now. Now that we're here... I should be able to get down here, get the film. Okay, cool. 
get in here. Ta-da! I did it! Now let's do some shadow play. Okay, so this time it's too much light. And there's one that we can't extinguish. Wow. Impressed myself there. Thank you. I'll be out now. Don't attack me. Great! Thank you so much! Don't attack me on the stairs too, though. Okay. I need to figure out where the last room is. We've done the two obvious ones here. Um, where is the last one? It was below ground, wasn't it? Here. How the fuck are we gonna get there? Oh wait, wasn't there... I think you can walk this. So we need to get to this room. We need to get to the ceremony room. Which only has one entrance. And that is through... Kimono Lady's room. Which is... Okay. Yeah, I know where to go. Okay. Please don't attack me. I am only a weak little dude. Actually, let me um go this way. <sighs> I need to remember more candles because I don't know where I'm going to find any. I only know of that one that we just got already. Maybe there's one here, in this big room. Maybe there's one upstairs. The problem is like, you start going out of your way to places to try and find the, ooh, it's open again. Try and find the candles, but then you're wasting time as well when you reach a place where there's no candle. Really sucks. Because I, I legit don't know what I'm going to do if this candle runs out. I don't know where I'm going to find one. I don't know if I can even see one. Because my monochrome eyes don't see very well. I wish I'd memorized more places that they were in. Oh, the kimonos are different again. Oh god. No, I don't want to fight you! <sighs> oh, she's not gonna let me escape. I upgraded my camera though. I have two spirit points. Maybe I can use the... How do I... Oh god. Oh, too early. Fuck. How do I switch the lenses again? Oh, this one. Yeah. There we go. Hope that hurt her. Too far away, can't combo it. Oh, come on. I think the camera got stronger. Oh, a book with a purple cover has fallen where I saw the ghost. She was asking about Kaname, what happened to him. 
Akito hasn't come back. Everyone disappears from the manor, leaving me behind. I'm always the only one who's left here, combing my hair impatiently. No matter how much I comb my hair, no matter how much I concentrate my feelings, he never returns. Could it be that the earring, the child, neither of them will convey my love to him? Mm. She never found out that he was killed a long time ago. Akito. Poor lady. Ooh, we should check in here. No, Candle, don't do it. Ah! Oh! Oh, I got her. Holy shit. Okay, now give me this. It's not a candle. Fuck. Oh no, there's one more stage in my candle. I need to find something. There's no candle here, right? No item? No. We gotta hurry. Running out of time. I hate it. There we are. Maybe there's a candle here. <gasps> oh, yes! Uh, okay, no, I'll wait. I'll wait. We'll p grab it on the way back, because we have a tiny bit more time in this one. Okay, hopefully we can fit here. If that lady attacks me, I swear. Oh. Where is it? Oh, it's like a face. I see. I thought it was going to be the crouching lady showing up. We made it! Okay. Oh, now we can do one on this side as well. My god, I did them so quickly this time. What the fuck? <laughs> Surprised myself there. All four tattoo stakes have been gathered. Should still be time, is what he said. We can still make it. Don't you dare. I'm so terrified of that crawling lady. I think she's the worst ghost for me. She's absolutely terrifying. Oh, there's something. Oh, see that? There was a little bit of grain on the screen. She might have been hanging out there. Oh, perfect timing. Oh god, where is she? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, it's the tattoo lady. Oh my god, I was so worried. I thought it was the actual tattooed lady. Not the tattoo lady. Oh. Okay, I need to get back to the town. I'm trying to think about- Oh god! Go here. Time is of the essence! I can't hang out and fight. Everything is taking too long already as it is. Except the puzzles apparently. <laughs> Really surprised myself there. I normally get stuck a lot longer with those. Are we gonna go all the way down those stairs as well? That Miku went down? All the way into the back? I wonder, or it's gonna fast forward us once we get to the big house. Not sure. I should save. Ooh. Say it with me. Ooh, ah. <laughs> let the stress flow away. And let it come back, because we're still in the game. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 
Well, everything should be open. We should just be able to go. Might have to fight the arm lady again or something. I think there might be a candle up on the beams. I'll definitely... Oh, I'll need to remember... No, you know what? I'm not going to pick that up. That's going to be for Ray. Might be a candle, but... I'm not taking any chances. All the 90 and 0 film. Oh, so painful. Here we go. I didn't catch that. Oh, here we are. Oh my god, I'm I'm legit kind of nervous. It's like there's so much weight in this place. Candle doesn't even help anymore. Ooh. Oh god. Okay, I need to heal. I think I'm going to use my 90 film. I faded it. Oh, she was so clear for a second. Got her! Nice. That might be good. This might be a lot of damage. I have spear points too. I should use a lens shot next. Nice. Did that hurt? I hope it did. Too scared to miss those moving shots. Oh. She still got me. Oh, you can see my tattoos! Well, I'm out of film anyway. Okay. This is a zero shot. Better make it count. Oh, come on! I was so ready. Okay. She can't have a lot of health left. Oh, oops. She is a toughie. She's like almost in the wall. Yes! Oh my god. Good. Okay. That should be it. I can't even save here. I'm too far gone. can't save anyone. Oh my god, he made it. Oh. This is it. Oh my god. The bunker looking thing in the flash forward. There he goes. He's got the stakes. He's ready.
The air must be so thick in there. It's like the source of all of it. Oh boy. Stakes are already in. For all of them. It's so many. <laughs> but one isn't pinned down. <laughs> Well, or her soul isn't at least, because there she is. She's already pinned. dude it was a good idea he thought that maybe she wasn't pinned down anymore but she was it just doesn't affect her there's something else that makes her restless we should go check in on him i honestly thought that this chapter would take me really long for some reason i i think because i just know the layout of the place a bit better now. I think I did it really quickly. I was really gonna be like, okay, this chapter is gonna be one episode and then one more episode for the last chapter of the game. But I think, oh no. Poor Kay. We're too late, we couldn't do anything. Okay. He's done for. Wait, is there anything we can get from his... from his backpack? The bag has been left open. Maybe he was looking into something. Inside the bag is a tattered and well-thumbed notebook that I guess must be must belong to him. There's a seal stamped onto one of the last pages. I examined the lyrics of the third verse of the Sleeping Priestess. It may be some kind of clue. Below are possible meanings beside impaling the t tattoo stake. Maybe the lyrics in the third verse don't mean to make sleep, but rather to send off the priestess. These lyrics certainly fit with the funeral song you was talking about. They practice an ancient spirit world religion over there. At the Kuse family mountain, it is said there is a sacred area called the Sea of Endless Night. On a certain map is drawn a huge sea-like area behind the manor. Maybe it represents the other world. Could that be where the priestess is relinquished? Send off the priestess, but how? Found an old cassette tape at the bottom of the bag. Ototsuki. The writing on the label has rubbed away, but I can just make out the word Ototsuki. It looks pretty old. Okay. Who? Oh, poor K. Yu's friend who's researching the manor. His conclusion is that to get rid of the curse, someone has to impale the woken maiden and soothe her. So he is going inside the shrine, and once he's there, he can make it. Miku has gone. Has she gone to the one she longs for, her brother? Is her decision the right one? And for me. I'm glad she's questioning it, at least. She knows what she wants, but she's questioning whether that's the right thing to do. You know? Is she still here or is she a stain now too? 
No, oh, she's still here. She's stronger than Kay is, I think. She's still enduring it. No, oh, I can't interact with her at all. Look how long the hair is now on this little doll. I think this is as long as it gets. Because we are about to start the last chapter, I think. That ball. On the desk are books about cameras and photography. Should we do another um, lap of the house, maybe? I don't think we have pictures to develop or anything anymore, but... Hi, Kay. Bye, Kay. So sad. Anything here? Oh. <laughs> I'm glad we saw her. Nothing there now, though. Anything here? No, no more film. Well, in that case, I think it's time to go. Oh, the tape. All right, Ototsuki. I forgot. <gasps> Kaname? Somewhere underwater. <laughs> the Japanese tapes are so much longer than the the English ones. The subs stop so much sooner. They it is like the subs are correct, it's just that because in English they probably said it's so much quicker than the Japanese is more drawn out. Um that the tape just goes on much longer. Kaname, the man who entered the shrine. That's what I heard. I heard something during the tape and I was like, what the fuck is going on? I can hear a woman's voice coming faintly from the radio. It must be receiving from somewhere in this house. I was just saying we weren't doing anything with the radio. Here it is. She's saying she wants to see him one more time in the radio. I know we can't be together, but I just want to see him one more time. Oh. 
Where is it coming from? Well, since I've checked everywhere, I think it must be this one place that I'm thinking of, but... There. How are you supposed to know that? This attic room hasn't been open since you put his things there when he moved out of his parents' house. You have a huge space here that you don't use. Oh! Fucking too late. What's she looking at? Inside the drawer is an old book and something wrapped in cloth. A small stone. Oh, the radio was reacting to the stone. Kaname. Deika, who heard the longing of the priestess. The other world. I'm soliciting test subjects for my research on dreams as the border between life and death. It was difficult to find someone who could speak clearly about their dreams, but I found someone who seemed to know the other world. The man has had the same dream for several months in a row. The dream is as I described below. He first notices he is standing before a small snow-covered shrine. He has only se he's seen the shrine before, but only vaguely remembers it. He has, however, heard of a shrine like it in his hometown. From deep in the shrine, he hears the voice of a girl he left behind. Beckoned by the voice, each day he goes a little further into his dream shrine. Up to this point, this is a plausible dream generated from the desire for home and love. Next is where a statement becomes interesting. An ancient ceremony is held there, and one can meet the deceased. There is a huge cave deep in the shrine, and a river flows there. There is a large pit, and the base of it is in the sea. This statement is clearly about the other worlds, particularly the underworld. According to this story, there is a legend in his hometown about the other world and dreams, and much of his dream congrues with it. I recorded his talk of his dreams for four days, compiled below. He's from the Butsu region, where they have an ancient legend about a sea called the Sea of Endless Night that exists in the mountains. There they have many legends related to dreams. For example, dreams are called the Rift and traverse the border between the other world and the real world. If you continue to have nightmares, the deceased apparently return from the underworld. The shrine exists in order to prevent the nightmares. There resides a priestess who sleeps in the rift and will take on the nightmare. The voice he hears may be that of the priestess that sleeps in the shrine of the other world, communicating the existence of the rift. The morning after I recorded his testimonial on the gramophone, he suddenly disappeared, leaving behind all his luggage. Did he go to see the woman from his hometown? The earring he left is made of echo stone, and since ancient times there has, has been said to communicate thought. Perhaps I can use it to modify the crystal receiver. Hmm. Sounds like Asu, Asu Kunihiko wrote this, maybe. Researcher's notebook. Ooh, film! Ototsuki. In this airing is Deikas, the tattooed priestess. It might convey her voice and emotions. The voice on the cassette was talking about a place where you can meet the dead. Could it be inside the manor? I want to be with him again. I want to be with him again. That's what Deika's voice said on the radio. I... Hmm, another shower? That's the third one, this game. Thinking about you. God, it looks so painful. Whoa, we're here. Is the kitty still here? Yes. Well, good night, kitty. Inside Armika's kimonos in the funeral morning that I've just worn once. Oh, that was a description for the closet. So anytime she's hurting now or thinking about her loved one, 
and lost one. She... Why would she... I don't think I would take a shower if I thought I was gonna die anyway next time I went to sleep. Yeah. It's kind of weird. But I guess... Oh! Okay, that took me off. Uh, okay, bad, bad. Took me off guard. Holy shit, I didn't think she would be in here. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see if this starts the final chapter. She's like, what, sh what would I do if I met you? I don't know. Is it okay that I survived and he died? Basically. She probably feels so guilty about what happened that she's not even sure if she can face him. I think is the, the thought pattern. This is an interesting place to wake up in. Oh, there he goes. Yu chan. Alright, we didn't get a final chapter notification. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Hour 13. Calling of the tattoo. Wait, what are we hearing? Um, okay. I have been recording for an hour. Hmm. Okay, one sec. Let me check. Looking at my last playthrough, it was like another hour 20 exactly from this point. So I think instead of making this episode two and a half hours, I think it's better to cut it here right at the start of a new chapter and then we'll finish the game in another hour and a half ish next time. I think that would be best. Um, so this is a little bit shorter than we're used to, but I think it's good. I just did the chapter with Kay so much quicker than I thought I did. <laughs> I think it's the puzzles as well that went really quickly. Um, I think that hardly needs any editing. Normally, like, for puzzles, we'll, like, take out a bit of the puzzle to make it just quicker. Um, but I think even that is not really necessary for these because they were pretty quick. Um, so there you have it. Next episode, definitely going to be the last one. Part seven is where we'll finish the game. I hope you guys liked it so far. I hope you guys are excited for the reveal of the ending next time. And I'll see you guys there. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. See you guys soon. <laughs>